Gun control. What challenges do gun dealers in our area face to meet all these new requirements that are suddenly out there? Our Jim Kenyon spoke with a local gun store owner in Nedro today. He'll have that story just ahead. But first at 6 tonight, one of Syracuse's smallest fire stations could close. Leaders say fire station number 7 on the east side on East Fayette Street handles very few fires. The station mainly deals with medical calls, and right now it needs almost a million dollars in repairs. Tonight, our Dora Scheidel joins us live with the latest. Dora? Good evening, Matt and Megan. Fire station number seven is on uh, East Fayette Street. That's in between uh, University and South Krause Avenue. It's about seven blocks north of the university. I talked to the president of the Syracuse Firefighters no Association, way. who tells me oh, that the union will be doing whatever it can to make sure that this doesn't happen. He says that it's a bad time to close the station. This year there were up to 2,800 runs and closing it would affect response times. The mayor's office says that repairing this old station would cost at least $1 million, something the union president says is an exaggeration. The mayor's office also says the majority of calls for station number seven are medical calls, which are and not fire related, which the union president also says is inaccurate. No, I think that's wrong. The engine had over 2,100 calls. Uh, the uh, the Mini had 3,800 calls. Now, uh, a medical call is just as important. I mean, you're saving people's lives. That's now, ultimately, the decision on the firefighter budget, budget will be up to the fire chief, Mark McLeese. I did pin, put in a call to him for an interview, and he did not respond. Reporting live from fire station number seven in University Hill, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt and Megan, back to you. And Dora, we want to quickly add, too, that Mayor Stephanie Miner was just here on the set saying this may be a little premature to say that station seven will be closing because of budget cuts. We'll see how it develops. Thank you. Well, President Obama rolled out a sweeping package to combat gun violence today, signing 23 executive orders. One directs the Center for Disease Control and Prevention to study gun violence. Another helps young people get mental health treatment. Just yesterday, Governor Andrew...